Hello students how are you welcome welcome once again to our another session of this virtual class today we are going to start a new lesson the lesson is program and programming languages now let us start the question with a question like what is a program yes what's a program now like i may get different answers like it's a set of instructions it's a collection of software yes uh, you are correct it's a collection of instructions you can see different definitions in different books here i have also presented a few definitions you can see them a program is a set of sequential instructions written using a programming language to solve a particular problem usually it accepts data during the program execution like another definition i have which says a program is a set of instructions a computer follows in order to perform a task a programming language is a special language used to write computer programs so therefore for a program we need a language so a program is instructions collections of instructions which tells the computer what to do when to do and how to do now moving further then we have a next question second question which says what is programming just now we discussed like program are the instructions the programming refers to the process of writing the program coding the program the for writing a program we need a language so using a proper computer language we write programs so this process is known as programming so in this process many steps are involved which we'll discuss in coming lessons so after that we have another word who is a programmer yes a programmer is any person who writes a computer program a, a program to make the computer work using a proper computer language which he is versatile he is uh, known about he is expertise about so he chooses a language just like a uh, an author an author writes book novel using a language similarly a programmer writes a computer programming computer program using a programming language so these are the three terms which we discussed so far program programmer and programming now the last fourth one we have programming languages now what is programming languages so all of you might have already guessed a language it's a language a language which is used for writing a computer program now when we discuss about computer programming languages a few things must be discussed like here you can see what is programming language why there are so many programming languages what are the different types of programming languages why do we need different kinds of new languages and so on let's discuss on these topics one by one the first of all what is programming language so as i had told earlier uh, it's a language to write programs i have some definitions here you can see them a programming language is a set of rules that provides a way of telling a computer what to do a programming language is a set of rules for communicating an algorithm it provides a linguistic framework for describing computations uh, in an easy definition you can read them yourself now similarly after that now we need to discuss why are there so many programming languages now in due course of time uh when many new machines were developed uh new languages were let's say felt as a necessity so different programs required different uh hardware different software so according to the requirement of program different programming languages were developed developed now you can see in today's world we have different programming languages like these which i have shown in the picture java python pascal ruby c c plus so many examples now what are the types of programming languages when i discuss about types of programming languages uh, there can be categorized there can be grouping on different grounds like if you consider different books you will see different types maybe it can be categorized as five first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation where 
the first two were in the low level category and the next three were in high level category or you can also consider there are only two types of programming language high and low within low level we have machine level and assembly level right now for you at this level i consider to remember this type okay three types of programming language machine level assembly level high level or simply two types high level and low level machine and assembly comes on the low level as shown in this figure now what are these different types of programming language why do we classify them into different classes now so let's discuss about them first of all machine level language machine level language also known as the first generation computer language they were the programming language which were used to program the computers in first generation now as you can see in this figure this the bottom part of the figure where you can see zeros and ones so machine level language uses only zeros and ones it's also known as the binary language it's also known as the mother language of the computer because it is directly understandable to the computer so these are machine codes which are executable by the computer and then we have next one second generation language which was used in the computers of second generation also known as the assembly level language assembly level language they use some codes known as the mnemonics codes as you can see in this figure here you can see a few words like load mall div rt etc so there are some words of mathematics like add sub so these words of mathematics were used in second generation language known as mnemonics uh, second generation language was compa comparatively easier than first generation language machine level language so assembly level language is also considered as low level language because it is also machine dependent just like the machine level language so next one we have the high level language high level language is very much similar to our language english so it uses some common english words and mathematical symbols that's why it's called high level language you can see one example over here small example of a high level language it uses some mathematical terms and uh, like here asterisk slash and words of english return float so that's high level language now next one we have 